we are doing what we can inside Syria as well as uh, in the neighbouring countries. Inside Syria, we spent uh, roughly 30% of the total amount of, of, uh, of money from DG Near uh, inside the country. Uh, we have a whole of Syria approach, which means that we work in differently in government held and in opposition held areas uh, on the basis of needs and on the basis of where we can get access rather than uh, some any form of political uh, agreement. Um, we are trying to sustain the uh, education system as best we can with the UN organisations. Uh, we are working via NGOs to do the same in opposition held uh, areas as well as with them to try and maintain the, uh, the vital services and offer support to civil society organisations where we can. Monitoring is a major one. Um, we cannot simply um, monitor projects inside Syria like we do in, in other countries. Uh, our delegation, uh, the uh, operations and financial and contract parts of our delegation are spread between Brussels, Beirut and, uh, and Amman. Uh, with one or two members of staff uh, who will be deployed in Gaziantep uh, soon. So we have a, a, a delegation which is scattered to the four winds. Um, we have problems in carrying out the basic audit and evaluation and monitoring tasks which we would normally do. Uh, we have to find innovative methods to uh, mitigate uh, those circumstances. There are obviously parts of the, the country we can't access. Uh, we can more or less only access government held parts of the country via the UN and uh, we cannot access uh, the Kurdish areas, for, certainly not from Gaziantep, and uh, for obvious reasons the areas controlled by Daesh. Despite these problems, the cost of not intervening is heavier than the cost, the risks of intervening.